just, uh, I was just talking to somebody backstage, and Napalm Death is playing right down the street tonight. And as I was playing on stage, I was trying to remember the very first time that we ever played in Toronto, and it was actually with the band Napalm Death. Remember, it was so fucking, I mean, we were so stoked to come to Toronto for the first time. But I remember when we first started playing, dudes were just like, oh, for like the first three yeah. songs. And I don't know what happened, but somewhere along the show, we were only playing for, I think, like 40 minutes, but about halfway through, all of a sudden, it was just like, I get it. <laughs> and it just fucking, it was crazy. It ended up being one of the best shows of the entire fucking tour, man. And we never forgot Toronto after that. Always made a point to come back. And I gotta give a shout out to Napalm Death for giving us the opportunity to play in Canada for the very first time. Man. 20 years ago. That was 20 years ago. Our very first album, Burn My Eyes, just celebrated its 20 year anniversary. And we just put out our eighth studio album called Bloodstone and Diamonds. Anybody in here got it? And every time I say those things, it always freaks me out because it's just like, God damn, that's a fucking long time. But it went by like that. You would not believe how fast that all that time went by. And you know, during that time, we've never had a hit record. We've never had a hit on the radio. We've never had a hit on MTV. We never got to be as big as the Beatles. But I tell you what, we got some die-hard motherfuckers that love our band, man. That is all that you fucking need, Toronto, Canada. taken a path at some point and done that. We could have tried to write a radio song. We could have tried to do all that stuff. But we chose a different path, man. A path that was laid down by an amazing band from Toronto, Canada that has been one of our biggest inspirations in our entire musical career, a band called Rush. They chose a different path, too. You know, and they've been on their own path, doing their own thing for so long that everybody just kind of caught up to them and went, oh shit, you guys are killer. And you know, that's kind of what some people would say we haven't, but that's what our goal is, to be a band like that, man. To just do our own thing and do it in our own way and not fucking worry about what the goddamn music industry is doing at that fucking moment or what the radio's doing or what the video's fucking doing. Because this moment is all that matters. This is the moment that matters, man. Us being right here, right now, Toronto fucking Canada 2015. Because it's all about music, man. It's about music, you know. We need to stand on this stage. If we weren't standing on this stage, we'd be in that audience with you right now, drinking beer and getting high and kissing girls and singing our fucking brains out because it feels fucking good. It feels good. You know, some of us come to these shows to remember and some of us come to forget. But we all come to feel alive. We all come to feel something in a world that doesn't want us to feel anything. And that's why we're here. That's why we stand on this stage. And you know, maybe I can't speak for every person in this room, but I think I can speak for a fucking lot of you. Because you could be anywhere right now. You could be anywhere in all of fucking Canada right now. But you're here with Machine Head, watching four musicians bleed their heart out playing live fucking music, man. Not a goddamn DJ pressing the space bar on his laptop. We want live music. Because you, you need it too, don't you?
free to sing the words of this next song as loud as you can, man. Be louder than me if you want to. I don't give a fuck. Our album, Unto the Locust. Ladies and gentlemen, this song is called Darkness of Family. I'm so gonna give them my disgrace. 